Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to set up a shadow catcher in Houdini like this. So we have an object here and uh, we have a ground which receives the shadow. Let's see how to set this up. Uh, let's explore what the scene has. So I'm going to set this to Houdini VK. So we have a character and we have a ground which is just a simple plane. We are merging it together here. So we have something like this. And uh, I'm also importing the camera from the SOP level. We also have some lights, which I'm importing from the SOP level as well. So that's the basic scene, which I have right now. So if I go and view through the camera, you can see some background images. So this is applied in the SOP level in the camera or in the camera shop so that's why it is visible here so if i scrub the timeline you can see the image place and uh, and the scene is sticking to the image because i have matched moved the camera uh, so everything sticks like this so uh, that's that's how you can get an accurate shadow in the ground based on the based on the input image so i have approximately placed these lights uh, in the scene so that we receive some exact shadows. So that's the basic scene. Now let's see how to set up the shadow catcher. I'm going to drop down a background plate. Let's connect this here. Uh, before that, we'll switch this to Karma XPU so that we can see what's happening in the render. If, if these lights are annoying, you can just turn, the, turn them off here in the viewport. So it just hides the icon, but uh, it doesn't do anything uh, with the render. So yeah, that's how it looks. And if you go to the background plate node, you can see the aspect ratio immediately changes. Uh, that may be because uh, this node may contain some render settings inside. Uh, there are a lot of things inside. I don't want to check that right now. So to fix that, you can drop another render settings. You can drop uh, karma render settings yeah this uh, you can connect the first input to the first and the second input to the second output of the background plate so this is still not fixed but you can choose the camera here and all of a sudden your aspect ratio is back and uh, which is what i want here so now let's let's uh, set the shadows in the background plate node you need to mention which object should receive the shadow. So in my scene, I want the grid to receive the shadow. So I'm going to drag the grid from the geometry spreadsheet or the scene graph view to the primitive section here. So right now, if you, if you restart the render, you get something like this. So I'm getting white background because in the plate section in the background i have a white png i this is just a plain white texture i had previously so you need to you need to select the background plate which which is the input image here so that you get something like that and uh, we still didn't see any shadows uh, because the shadow is a separate AOV which is coming from the second input uh, so it's not visible here so let's fix that if you go to the image output you need to mention import render variables from the second input if you enable this you can immediately see the shadows if everything is correct yeah you can see the shadows are here now and uh, now you can also check the render outputs and you can go to the holdout shadows here you can see the shadows are there in our aovs so if you render this as an exr you will get this as a separate layer so that we can combine them with the color to create nice shadows in the ground